<laughs> Sadness, grieving, misery. It's a part of everyday life. You feel it, I feel it, even the happiest person on earth will feel it at times. We feel sadness when something we did not want to happen to us happens to, to us. For example, our brand new puppy goes missing, or even when we lose someone so close to our hearts. But it isn't all that bad. Sadness, struggles and hardships can actually make you a better person. Sadness can motivate you to try harder, it can improve your memories, in some cases it can improve your interactions, meaning that when you are sad you are better at being able to easily distinguish the guilty from the innocent, and in some cases it can even make you more polite. A study was done with people happy and sad, they had to ask for something, and it turned out that the, ha that the sad people actually use more polite techniques to get that. Some ways you can deal with sadness if you're feeling sad are one, you can breathe in, breathe out. Two, you can say, this is not the moment I wanted, but it's the only one I've got. Uh, three, you can talk to someone, for example, friends, siblings, parents, or spouses. They'll all want to help. Um, there are some days where it is all right to feel sad. For example, a wake, a funeral, or Good Friday. For those of you who don't know, Good Friday is a day in the Christian religion where Jesus died for us. We go to sad masses and do not sing it at all. I'm sure that you might have heard of the Day of the Dead, celebrated in the 2nd of November in Mexico every single year. It is a day where the Mexicans believe that the dead have come back to life once more. I'm sure that you also remember COVID-19 last year, where everyone put up teddy bears and hand-painted rainbows in their windows. It promoted the spirit of togetherness and made everyone feel happy. People also did things such as pet rocks, rocks painted to look like little creatures. Our school did FJT rocks, which lies out in the garden bed over there to this day. We all wrote motivational messages on rocks and sent them into the school. People also did things such as Spoonville, a city of wooden spoons. And one guy even hid 200 wiggle cutouts around his town and made a map so that little kids could find them. So next time you have a bad day, I want you to stop and ask yourself, is sadness really that bad? <laughs>